A A A Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm doing your weekly reading for the week of the second of December to the eighth of December. Vow with me, please, my loves. Let's see what's popping. But to you I gave my love and affection <laughs> right from the stars. Oh, why don't you come here? And you know I got troubles in love now. Come here, and you know I got troubles enough. You make me laugh when I don't want to. Are you so strong, or is this the weakness in me? I don't know who that message is for. Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. So recent past energy, and this energy can continue into the week of the second to the eighth of December. So, some of you are making a decision to find balance recently making fast passionate actions making actions swiftly to find balance in your life overall some of you are directing your balance your actions towards joining something with a soul family joining something with a soulmate joining cups joining cups of love either a serious commitment or a step forward um to find balance some of you are realizing that the bond is deepening recently between you and someone or something you're emotionally attached to. This could be your job you're emotionally attached to, your business venture, your own um, business, personal business, yeah? But some of you are really taking a lot of fast, passionate actions to have stability and balance. We have two tools here, so um, and this energy can continue in the week. Some of you are having something to do with a soulmate this week or the bond getting deeper even if you are already together. But even if you're not, you're realizing that there's someone there that is in specific that your bond it cannot be denied. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have the Four of Swords here. And this Four of Swords... Is you going in or need to go in this week to find, pray and meditate, seek the answer. Some of you have um, someone depending on you, two persons depending on you, two persons waiting for you to come out of this state of praying and meditating to find stability. Some of you are just possibly um, needing to pray and meditate. Some of you might need to um, take some rest and recovery. Yeah, go in for the answers and possibly even take medical um attention so some of you um are having a new phase or a new beginning or in love with something you're doing totally in love getting help from the ends of the divine having something to do with the m or w even a wedding yeah um a new phase or beginning in your life yeah your efforts and your new beginning is going to stretch far Straight far even over um land and sea yeah um some of you really 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 st stayed afloat to have this new beginning a new phase really 
really put your head above the water even when you felt you were drowning yeah you really stood afloat and now you're gonna begin to see the blossom and the blooms on your efforts some of you have something to address with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius like yourself, or you're this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, taking a lot of steps to manifest the life you desire, taking strong, firm, passionate actions and desires to manifest the life you desire. You could have a cat. You could love yellow and um, love flowers. So some of you really, after this week, going in to rest and recover, pray and meditate, you will begin a new journey of um, a new phase, a new beginning, a revamped situation where the situation is reignited. Um, possibly to do with love, but anything you're emotionally attached to, possibly to do with business or your family situation, but taking fast, passionate actions to have this new beginning or new phase. Um, the sun will come out tomorrow. Take away your troubles and your sorrow. You have you showing up here. Whatever you're doing, don't stop. You're on the right part, path. Wink, wink. I don't know why I'm guided to say that. Um, being more naked with yourself, coming out with the truth. Um, being more publicly recognized. Um, some of you love to really spread sunlight wherever you go. Yeah, prosperity and abundance knocking out at your door after a period of rest, possibly starting this week or soon after. Yeah, healing taking place, having something to address with a soulmate, and that prosperity and abundance, new money coming in will help you to find stability. So, um, some of you really are doing a lot of going in this week to seek the answers, praying and meditating. Some of you are going in with the flow. Or some of you, after being enlightened, you're having that new beginning and new phase from help from the divine, whether it be in love or just something you really love to do or yourself. Some of you have something to address with a divine partnership, a twin flame or a connection that's undeniable. Um, some of you are really joining with someone, taking fast, passionate actions to join with someone, possibly having something to address with a Gemini. Yeah, healing in a situation where there's been a stalemate for a while, getting enlightened and joining with that person, healing in the situation or getting to a better place mentally about the situation, taking fast, passionate actions to express your love to self and the world. Some of you are thinking about traveling or someone is thinking about traveling to you, getting to a better place. Some of you are traveling over waters this week or making plans to do so. Finding harmony in your life. The center of your issue this week is surrounding going in for the answers and a new brand new beginning that you're emotionally tied to and healing and getting to a better place and possibly making plans to travel. Yeah, for advice, we definitely are need to make plans to travel if we are having the urge to take the time to heal. Take all the strength you can find to find that happy place, that healing place. And um, tame that beast. This is you showing up again in your, your reading. Strut your stuff, yeah? And um, you have the strength. You have the power. You're not limited. The infinity sign there, you're not limited, yeah? And some of you really are doing a lot of healing and getting to a better place this week. It's showing up all over in your reading. And I'm going to show you why again. Definitely having some form of divine partnership connection to deal with. Possibly making fast, passionate actions to improve your home. Buy a new home. Um, move towards a new home. Some of you are joining a commitment with someone. Soon or starting to think about that this week. Making fast, passionate actions to find stability. Some of you might be acknowledged more in whatever work situ committee you are a part of, whatever committee you're a part of, community you're a part of, more acknowledged, and you are having a win. This is also a win card. Something might be disclosed to you that's um, hidden. Some of you have soulmates at a distance separated by land and sea, and you're about wishing for each other and keeping your your um your um your 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 keeping your up keeping your vibes up about the situation so 
healing taking place the star the sun coming out in for you this week and that's wonderful and possibly having a love at a distance balancing things doing things to balance things and the wishes coming through this week or um even seeds you've planted a long lifetime ago possibly having something to address with the aquarius some of you are trying hard to find balance and hustling and juggling one and two three four jobs to find balance or putting in x putting in extra hours and passionately going at it to find balance some of you have a decision to make to find balance yeah so yeah So, get more information. Meditation brings answers. And no, possibly not the right time or no delay or no negative thoughts. Or you know how this will apply. So, I bid you the highest, highest vibration and healing, healing, healing. And protection, of course. Namaste. Read the description, watch till the end, like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you like the vibe, do join the tribe. Thank you very much and peace.